so we will go back to the ECGs actually these ECGs are not that good but basically in V5 V6 you get a dip you can see this large dip okay in this wave in V1 V2 you get a large wave but in this this is actually an ECG for atrial enlargements atrial enlargement might confuse you that's why I'm not gonna do that but you also get ventricular hypertrophy here you can see the S wave dip in V6 and in this you can see the R wave rise and the S wave dip in V2 okay remember that remember this so that's it for the types of changes now we'll go over some different uh, ECGs different conditions and their relevant ECGs first is a junctional tachycardia also called as wolf parkinson white syndrome okay what you need to look for is the delta wave this wave which causes an angle like this so usually it's supposed to go up like this and come down but in this condition it goes up like this and comes down okay you can see the slurred um, wave slurred r wave okay that is called the delta wave and the treatment for this is procainamide okay just remember that pulmonary embolism in this condition we get these following ECG changes S1, Q3, and T3 will have deep, uh, will have the changes. Okay, so S1, S wave in lead one will be deep. P, Q, R, S wave will be deep. Q3, deep Q wave in lead three. Sorry, it's here. You can see the deep Q wave and also in LED 3 you will get inverted T waves so instead of being like this uh, the same direction as the R wave you will get an inverted T wave okay remember this is a summary I'm doing this lecture took more than two hours next we have the U waves that is seen in hypokalemia now a U wave can be normal if it is present it might be normal but if it is bigger than the T wave Here's the T wave. If it is taller than the T wave, P, Q, R, S, T, U. It is a condition of hypokalemia. Okay. This is hyperkalemia and you need to look at lead V4. Okay. And you will see a peaked T wave. What does that mean? It's just the T wave, P, Q, R, S, T wave which is enlarged you can see it has gone out of the ECG okay PQRS T wave okay actually uh, look carefully you will see that the R wave ends here and the T wave is going up afterwards okay it's just the T wave which is speed okay next we have prolonged QRS segment that is uh due to this drug called a tca which we give to treat um, uh, psychiatric disorders you get a prolonged qrs interval okay uh, these are things you need to know if you are planning to do usmla so next pericarditis ecg changes we have pr elevation an ST depression okay now let's go back to the final review